So what basically what happened, um, I connected to this really high inner earth dimensional energy, right? Like 12th dimensional diamond light, but even higher, like in this frequency. And I got skyrocket shut up and I go flying and I bust through the heavenly realm right out of the matrix, right? But when that happens, on the way breaking through, I seen Lucifer as an angel with black wings, kind of like down, tuning in. And I'm like, what the heck is, I'm like, and then I, as I'm tuning into what he's tuning into, all of a sudden it's that big red crazy devil thing, like whatever that. So he's projecting through his subconscious or his sleep state or his tuning in mind. So he's literally just below heaven, like really like he's like a step down from it. And he's kind of like tuning in to all of the density happening in our structure and stuff. So he's actually at a higher vibration than earth. Because I I busted through past 12 dimensions. So he's somewhere below the 12th dimension, just kind of sitting in this vibration, tuning into everything. It's as his angelic self. He's got these black wings and the rest of him is white. It was very interesting. And um, so I thought to myself, when I got confirmation, um, if we can bring clear his wings bring him back into the light more like back into like out reverse everything that he's tuning into because he's tuning into it so like theoretically we should be able to project light somehow into his channel yeah reverse things somehow pull back release the density clear it and just bring him back into his cleansed energy back out of this tuning in state and into like the not the fallen state but the state within the heavenly realm you know what i mean i i get the sensation that he has been so fully dark for so long that it's almost like habit like he doesn't know how to step away from it and I, um yeah i think he's just like stuck in this that, trend. That, that there's i mean we know he's you know got his god spark and we know he's you know of the light but once he chose to be dark then his ability to switch that off from the game but now we're like we're going to be playing a new game so you yeah. need to like change gears you know that's what i'm thinking so i think yeah. kind of well, well well i was told he, he, he had the job to do there but i do realize he's been there too long <laughs> you, you turn dark, don't you? If you're in with it or with that energy, so it's yeah. supposed to be the brightest of all the angels. Right. It was really interesting to see him, though. He was mostly white. He only had black wings, but his black wings were dark and smoky. Like, so it's like in a way, it, it might be he's changing to, to is the darkness is creeping uh, in. Ah, uh, could be, yeah. Right. And I think I think probably as our Earth vibration and, you know, especially with the galactics helping us with us raising our vibrations higher with the light workers, you know, really, there's so many that, you know, the difference between three years ago and five years ago and 10 years ago is so significant. And even though there's those factions of, you know, Earth energy that just needs to be clear, they don't know how to them too. I feel like they're like in that secular cycle of, you know, where some of the chaos and, and that is happening right now. Um, I, I feel like that's also, you know, that's kind of another area that kind of needs to be, you know, kind of cut through <laughs> so that yeah. they, you know, so that the hearts of those children and the adults can start to, you know, be redirected too. But I, yeah. Just but, kind of my well, I, I was told he's like the, he was the gatekeeper when he to the lower dimensions to the L sort of thing. Uh, and he offered me the job actually. Did they ever tell you that? And I said, No, <laughs> no, <It's a> pass. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, I'll go, <laughs> I, I'll go away. <laughs> yeah, so 
But he, he, he got that job because he was the brightest of all the angels, and he got that job because uh, people thought he couldn't be conflicted with his art, but obviously he is now. Yeah. Yeah. If you're in the dark too long. Right, right. I mean, you know, think about how, how long does it take you to acclimate to your surroundings? It's kind of like the, you know, the frog in the hot water, right? You put a live frog in a hot water and you keep turning up the heat and it doesn't recognize that it's, you know, getting ready to boil because it's been sitting in the water and it's, you know, kind of this tepid, comfortable spot. And next thing you know, you're being boiled. <laughs> Sorry, frog. I didn't mean to use you for an analogy, but, <laughs> but it's, you know, but it's, it's, it is kind of that analogy of once you're in something for so long, you just like, you don't even you don't know how to get out of it. You're just like kind of in it. Yeah, I think that it seems like it seems like he's just like asleep in a way, tuning into this all. So that somehow through his like sleep state, like this is a big dream for him in a way. Oh, so, right, right. Because what do we what do we tell ourselves that this is the dream? What we're going through is the dream. The reality is out there. So. Yeah. You know, we're caught up in the experience of the duality and then we're like, no, we're not playing that game anymore. We want to be back to the oneness and recognizing the light within within all things. So I don't know if you knew this, but Raphael was uh his assistant in terraforming Mars, lands of Mars. So he that might be helpful, I don't know. <laughs> You know, it's interesting. Um, I've I've been doing astral astral travel, so most of my astral travel is in my dream state. And uh, and the last couple things that I remember working with is like being with a big group of people, and I was like in this like a like as if you would go to like a concert or something like that many people, you know, like in this venue. But it also looked like a university. And I was walking out with some guy, and we were like working on a map. And he's like, I'm like, all right, you got the map? And he's like, yeah. So we're having this conversation. I'm like, all right, well, let's, you know, let's head out. So we start heading out and then, and then I'm like, wait, where'd he go? And then I get up to this hill and I turn around and there's like these sidewalks of just streams of people, just like, as if like in between classes at university, right? Just the sidewalks are full and everybody's moving. And I kind of turn around and I'm like, um, oh, maybe he's over there in that other, like this sidewalk that's kind of further down and like below me. And then next thing I know, I'm like, I'm, I'm literally, I'm just like, I don't walk to this sidewalk I just kind of get up and I'm floating and then and then all of a sudden it's like my conscious mind kicks in and goes hey you're astral traveling <laughs> and then and then that's really kind of all I remembered from that but I also had another dream where we were standing on kind of this like dark gray surface and almost like being scratched into it so it was like like white but it was like looking at a map of the universe and it was sectioned out almost like spirals, like the circles were like, you know, smaller, larger, 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 like that. So I just remember like standing on it, looking at it, and and that conversation is like not meant for me to remember or recall. But so we're doing something, <laughs> we're planning something with uh, you know, with maps in the universe. So um, but I don't know exactly exactly what that is i i i think for me especially you know with archangel raziel being my higher self i think i'm like privy to a lot of like the details and they don't want me here this body this person to really know all those other details um but at the same time i know that i'm always going and doing this work so <laughs> so it's interesting it's fun <laughs> Uh, it's funny how it's like i'm telling you like all the details and like you're not even flinching like yeah let's just go and do it <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, I know that yeah. i know that all i have to do is put my energy and intention and then i'll be there so whether i can see it or not is not important <laughs> do, do you know how we do these events since summit happens to me before and and it should be like your 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 idea but i've had four days ago source merged with a source Never done it before. While I was healing, he actually merged. 
and I can um, only handle him so long. Is this part of the, have we got a reach out to source? Um, you know what, here, let me tell you this too. Um, I was recently doing light language and then all of a sudden I was, and all I was doing was toning and the tones were kind of low, deep tones, mid tones, and, you know, higher range tones. And, and I, I was working with a group and we were doing, um, can't remember if we were doing channeling or mediumship, but anyway, I was doing this toning for the group. And, um, and then, and then afterwards I said, oh, that's, that's Sophia. I'm toning Sophia. And, and, but what happened during the experience of that is my whole body was vibrating. And then it's like, it's like my mouth was not my mouth. It's like, I felt like if I had opened my eyes and if I had a mirror in front of me, I would have seen like a holographic being in front of me. Like it felt that energy of me, my mouth and face feel like I was out here, not in here. And then working with some other channelers. And I was like, can you like help me understand what that experience was? And, and it came out that, oh, that's your Sophia aspect that you are embodying more fully now. So I'm like, oh, okay. So, I mean, I feel like you can call on, you know, mother God, father God, because that energy is definitely increased here. And Phil, especially if you're connecting in, David, I'm sure you're connecting in too, because you're, you know, you guys are tapped in, so. Yeah, I've First never had source major in there before, partial major. Uh, I've never had that. And that was four days ago. Wow. Yeah. That's about what it was with the Sophia too. What is today's date? It was Sunday. So sun was it Sunday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Was it like a uh, rift of source? Like a rift, like an opening of source with all like the heavens within it. Was it like that, Phil? No, no, source came that basically came down and just merging it. Uh, I was I was using Christ conscious energy. Next minute, I was using source energy. Is it just, I, I didn't is it just white light? It, I, I, it was golden. It wasn't white light. It was golden. Oh, light. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's interesting too. I've, um, I mean, I've always, you know, been able to feel energy before it happens. And whenever, whenever it's time to like get ready to to do healing work, or or like what we're doing today, um, I start to I start to feel like this quantum energy around me, where it kind of like you just feel like you're like kind of in this spin cycle. You're not moving, but that's how like that's how the energy around you feels. Like you can feel it like that. And then my feet, um, my feet have been like really activated with my uh, chakras. So what that feels like is, um, so say you're sitting with your legs in a weird position and your feet start to fall asleep and in that energy where it's like, they start to tingle, but not, not the type of energy where, oh, my feet are falling asleep. Let me, you know, let me shift my body around. And then you kind of get those kind of the prickly feeling, you know, so it's not the prickly feeling, it's the kind of the I'm getting ready to fall asleep so it's kind of the fuzzy buzzy you know sensation that happens and um and they're doing that right now anyway <laughs> yeah. so yeah prickly is normally 9d energies uh and yesterday I I was healing that woman I fixed her broken hand in 20 seconds I didn't even think about it just did it wow and four days ago source connect emerged with me without you I felt like I was source, actually. I didn't. I felt well, like why I you start source. calling in your teams, was... Phil, and merge with source? And then mm -hmm. what you can call in her teams and stuff. And then uh, yep. I, I feel like we should be, because I, I created a sacred space of archangels around us before we even got started. I just brought them all around us in a sacred space because this is too important to mess around with. And right, right. Yeah, right. It would be good day, to, we... to like channel maybe some all of the codes of the archangels or something like that maybe we just all do a bunch of light language too and um yeah know, we build up some stuff and then well we can i feel like I feel like we should something. Be, <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen like connect in with it, our hearts first i think you guys 
I know we've done that before and maybe with other groups, but, um, and then oming. So kind of that, you know, oming to just like, like the three ohms, there's definitely, like you were saying, you know, the power of the three, the triangle, it's like the strongest part of the square, you know? Um, but I think if we, if we ohm three times and then we can, you know, then we can do light language. So, um, I mean, it always comes to me quickly. I, you guys have like, <laughs> I see that that's your case now these days too. So that's really, you know, it's fun to see. But I don't know if you can hear my, the last time I tried to use this, um, my sound bowl, it, like it wasn't picking up on the phone. Can you hear that at all? Uh, no. Uh, no, you know why? It's the settings. I'm not sure what setting it is. Um, you got to put it in a setting thing that you see. Yeah, it's like, it's so, no, it's a special settings for it. Yeah. I probably have to be on the computer to do that. And I'm usually on my phone. So there's that. <laughs> but yeah, you guys want to do just like three ohms and I can, I'll just start it out and we can just do three ohms and just think of a rainbow ray connecting our hearts together. Uh, well, I think we should call in the teams first. Like this is the, the yeah. normal, right. like, weird stuff, but who do you want to call in, Phil? Uh, I'm calling uh, Evra, I always do, because the source being. Uh, my Lemurian High Priestess, which I still don't know the name. <laughs> uh, Doman, the Protector, and I'm going to bring, I'm going to try and ask Source to come in. Yeah. And so. for me, I mean, I have so many beings that are always working in around me but when I think of a powerhouse I think of Ra so um, he's got that beautiful central sun energy with him and then he's also got the collective so he comes with a lot of you know god goddess power with all the uh, daughters of Ra that are and sons of, of Ra so I, I think I'll ask him to come and join us and then um, bringing in that beautiful light and then the goddess energy I'm just going to ask the um the goddess mothers to come in and join so for myself um i work with pele and isis and athena um and uh there's some goddesses that are also in ireland uh danu is one and Fre freya is another also so i just feel like you're going to need that kind of that divine feminine support and um and then the multitude of dragons that I work with, I'll just, you know, kind of put out the call that if they're open and available to come and assist. And then, of course, my my galactic and angelic team, uh, the Arcturians, because they're always working with healing for me. Um, I think I think that's kind of like my strong point. And then um, and then Sirius. So they I have, you know, that strong aspect. And then because we're going to be working with the rain, uh, the rainbow ray, I'm actually going to um, pull up my my mermaid self. So from Lemuria, that's one of the lifetimes in Lemuria, and uh, I think that's I think that's what I'm feeling. And then, of course, my own higher self. <laughs> Great. Um, I'm going to call in the Diamond Light Order, <clears throat> which is like a the twelfth dimensional. No, uh, it would be diamond light angels and all of those high energies from inner earth. I'm going to call in the higher octaves, which is like this uh, new earth um, team of light that's coming in to um, cleanse out and transmute all this darkness, like a tsunami wave across the planet. And then I'm going to call in, um, let's see. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to add on to the dragons and just call in like all the highest level of um, source angelic dragons, omnisaurus, alpha, omega source, the mother, father, dragon, light, and mother, so, father, god, uh, of course. Yeah, mother, Thea, she just, I'm just hearing her going, uh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, <it's> Sophia. <laughs> mother, god, Sophia. And um, you know what? The the oh. elements. I'm actually hearing that they want. They just they're like, excuse us, like we're like, kind of the power behind you because while you're in this third dimension, the air, fire, water, and earth energies just want to. They're like we support you in everything you do. So you know, draw on our energy. 
I know. And also calling in the Queen of uh, one of the Andromeda planets. That connects a lot with. Oh, great. Well, the planets can come and play too if, if we want them to. <laughs> Who's that? I said the planets will come and play too from our universe if we want them to. They said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Right. Let's so Jupiter. All on the celestials, the. <laughs> Because because they they all they're right like all of the cosmos has been impacted by this so let's just yeah. the universal source light beings and celestials who want to help with this as well any star races of high vibrations of love of course mm -hmm. yeah any of course that are higher vibration in in love energy because we want to we want to approach this from from our heart space which is why we want to pull that rainbow connection into our hearts. And, um, and I know that we ask anybody that, you know, that we want to, to come in and join us in that, in that space, they'll be in our circle. And the rainbow light tree, then we should call them the rainbow light tree, which will be like the collect, the tree of life of the rainbow um, source beans. And that, and then you want to take us in with the alms? Yeah. Starting now. Oh. Taking a deep breath. Connecting our hearts. Oh. Feel that vibrating through your heart, connecting in with source energy and your teams. Oh, and I'm hearing them correct us to our teams. <laughs> we are we. And Atata Kuyanara and Chuku in Yarakahin, Rura Tahira Kahir, the Hirit and Yarakahit, the Puirit in Yarahit. Ahayana naira kuyana ishiru tuhira maiki Anarao yana iki Apayeta takuyana niti chuhira nai That's ancestral energy coming up with the assistance of Ra. <laughs> And uh, they're saying that they are, they being we, are a powerhouse, that our light is beyond the brightness of the sun, beyond the understanding of the mind of our place in where we currently exist as we're connecting here. But just breathe in those energies and... Trust that they're all here. Billy, you have some light language, angelic tongue. It's not angelic tongue. It's uh, it's that sort of books mentioned. So this is near. I have to come back. You got any guys? Yeah, I just want to channel the heaven energies and all the angels, ascended masters. So I'm just going to connect with them. See, shootui mosh kini kitianyash, poranyas, chish, bring in the codes to bring him back, to bring him back into the light fully in his heart. So a toy too, shpurachish, the grace of heaven, the grace of earth to forgive him. Puikanayash Puraniash to clear and to release all under his domain. To clear and release. Mustoyesh to Purada Chukuradatini Askurada Putoy Paniya Karada Chish Kurada asking heaven heaven to merge with us all of the highest light of heaven that are above 
Lucifer in light. Help us rise, raise our vibration above. Let's go above, above with all of the families of light. Above, above, above him, above the matrix, above, above in the light, above. And look down. How how do we heal him? How do we release? How do we release all? Diamond cosmic light. Yep. Within you. He is within you. His heart is within your heart. It is not to think that there's a separation between. Bring the energies through. The alliance, all of the light that is here through your heart and connect it and bring it into the darkness inside of your heart, into Lucifer's energies within the collective heart, within your heart, within all hearts, purify, send in this reconnection light, send it in through you up, cleanse, clear, and release him out of you, out of the collective, back into the light. Bring him back into the light. Uh, do you guys feel that pain and the pressure in your heart space? <clears throat> I'm going to go home. And as you become aware and now merge with the highest archangelic beings, merge with them and pull him up, pull him back up into the heavenly light, bring him back up <sighs> the sun to heal his heart, bring him back up in front of the sun to heal his heart that is being healed. We are all hands and extensions of the archangels pulling him into heaven, pulling him into the angelic realm, bringing him back in healing. He's suffered. He's depleted. He is completed his cycles of darkness. It is time to shift all within him, merge all of the archangelics, bring him back into the white light, all into the white light, all that he is connected to into the white light, bring the archangels, connect with him, and all and he's connected to bring it all into the light, all into the light. When he was being pulled up, I felt every cell in my body vibrating and um, in the sadness of kind of that, um, that sense of, I thought you forgot about me kind of feeling. And then the pressure on my heart is pretty intense. So yeah, that hurting, that hurting sadness that I think. Okay. I we, think like we. They have him on this table. And so now we are going to clear and cleanse his chakras, forgive and release the vibrations, bringing the heavenly light into all of his chakras, bringing it through, cleansing out all of his chakras, all of his hate, all of his anger, all of his depression, and all of the lower states. Cleanse it out, purify him cosmically baptize him heavenly baptize clear clear release all and through him bring in the liquid waters of heaven bring in the liquid waters of heaven through him cleanse it all out every one of his minions every one of his dna all of his archetypes cleanse it out bring it cleanse it out cleanse it out through him bring him back to his perfect light to his perfect illumination bring him back to his perfect <laughs> Sorry, that's me transmuting those energies. It's very physical for me. 
Can I just say what I was doing then? I was connecting to him because he's got he's got to agree to all this. He, he can't just force it, and he's agreed to it all. But he's had to let it go. Can you say that again and just speak up a little bit? It was hard to hear you there. Yeah, what it was, he's got to give it give permission to do all this. So I had to go into my Raphael state because we're brothers at the end of the day. And I'll have to tell him just let it go. Just come back, come back to him. So while you were doing all that, I was actually connecting to his spirit, but you know, his inner self. It's his inner self, I think, to be fair. Thank him. Thanking him for all the lessons, thanking him for all of the opportunities to learn this construct. Thanking him for coming to light again and transmuting all that is within it within him into the light, embracing the heavenly teams. It is, he is not the same place. This has worked. He's not. I quickly tuned in to when I saw him when I busted out of here, and it's he's not there, and he's in the heavenly light where we are right now. So it's this is definitely working. This is going to be massive. Mm -hmm. Kananara to Yanahi Kananara Kae Yanira to Kananara Just, uh, just removing a lot of these dark energies. He's got like this, um, also this universe within himself, like this whole construct. And he's got different realms, so much more than Earth in his consciousness that he's controlling or has been over these cycles. So any souls that he may be hanging on to for whatever reason, let's release those out of his heart. Bring all souls back to the light. Across all of the parallels, alternate realities and different frequencies of the different kingdoms that he's overseeing to purify all of it within him, heal all of the consciousness, bring him the light in, higher octaves, asking for the higher octaves to come in here and totally blitz him with light within all of these realms. You're here. See it. Just bring light into him. Don't don't actually go into him. Just bring light into him. Tune in it. But don't go into him. Yeah, no, it's um it's just uh when I although I don't go into him, uh the way my energies work is I kind of have the connector piece. And so sometimes it can get into that very physical ex you know, ex expression of it. And um it almost felt like um like I wanted to purge. So that coffee, and I thought, what is that? Like throat chakra clearing? And then I literally, like my whole body kind of tensed up like I wanted to purge. And it's just my physical interpretation of the energy. So not that I'm like merging with him. Um, it's it, it's still too much work to be done to do that. But yeah. our arc fields are definitely intertwining to assist support. Let's bring him in all of the Archangelic codes from the light language and his um heavenly heavenly signature into embroid in his fields of light. So he's just the light. 
By the way, I've partly merged with them. I'm sorry. But I've got source with me. With, with, with I was going to say then. merge with source. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm we're sending the dense energy to source, but source is with me as well. Perfect. You guys feel that heat energy at the back of your neck from your angelic chakra? <laughs> it's intense. <laughs> Yeah. Such purity light around us right now. It's amazing. <laughs> streaming in gold and light, streaming in all and in the Christ consciousness, and I'm funneling it through all that he's connected to in these realms to bring in ascension energies to everything to purify cleanse expand light fields to open up heart chakras um those that have sworn their oath is now they are swearing their oath to the light because we reversed it i've uh, brought in another aspect uh saint germain as well Um, I feel the energy like leaving out of my left hand and, um, usually I come in on the left and out the right. So it's like a reversal is how I, the energy is like moving. It's like, it's like it came in and now it's leaving how it came in. That makes sense. Normally when I'm doing like clearing it'll just go out the right side so i'll feel it like a zap like an electric shock um and usually out my feet but this is this is coming out through my left hand through the fingertips almost like it was like put into humanity and now it's being pulled out of humanity And now we're getting new light codes, you guys. So in your aka ichikurrenya ichikriyara ichikriyara ma ichikriyara ichikriyara ma ichikriyara patriyara tatkutuye ichikutuye ichikutuye ma ichikriyara tatahira nan ichikriyara ta ichikutuye nan ichikriyara man ichikriyara ichikutuye ichikutuye patriyara ichikutuye ichikutuye nan ichikriyara nan ichikriyara ta pahira ichikutuye pa ichikriyara ta ichikriyara ta ichikutuye nan ichikriyara nan Those are um, uh, golden source light codes. Yeah, I think he's uh, he just said uh, he's lost his way. He's back now. I can't believe source actually emerged me. Told me the favorite one. <laughs> um, um, obviously, you're paying them off or something. He's just said, uh, Dave, uh, we need to go to Stonehenge and do some dancing around the stones. I'm in. <laughs> oh, so. Merged. So. It's like a golden universal dragon. It's so cool, man. It's like this got stars all inside of it. It's golden. And it's the size of uh, the whole universe. So just being this golden universal dragon throughout our whole universe. It's just, but yeah, I miniaturized myself down to Stonehenge and um, definitely have a celebration with the Heavenly Father, Mother, and the angels. Clearly, everybody is celebrating in this moment. It is pure and the angelic 
um, choirs are coming in with the halos and the music. Um, so all are about to feel a whoosh of love energies. So good. Mm. Well, there's a lot of like what used to be like the final standing um deity gods that were dark are, are transmuted now too and coming. They're not they don't look the same anymore. And so it's they're not threatening. Uh, they're transforming into service. So this is going to be quite amazing what happens to our reality after this one. I'm telling you that much. We're already feeling energy is different already. It, it, so anyone if you end up broadcasting this, if you could feel the energy that I, I just felt uh, oh. That was so insane. That's great. Yeah, so um, we'll thank the families of light, the entire <clears throat> universal support, everybody that assisted, every vibrational being. We'll thank the former dark one for the lessons. And gratitude. I'm going back to the light. Brightening it up our matrix so this can just all shift you can see that gold like a ring of gold going around the earth and the earth is like got sparks of light coming up off of it and even the it always got gold in it and it's usually always white it doesn't usually have gold in it but i see it too lots of different beings are watching it on the different uh, celestials, the different consciousness schools that are witnessing this outside of uh, Earth. Uh, a lot of beings within Earth, and then the masters, ascended masters, tons of them, like like legion of them, are watching this, assisting with it as well. It's like there's this uh, dark cord that is. This trap, this light is traveling down this dark cord, and you can see it start to go from dark, like um, like veins of gold, and and then it starts from the veins of gold. It starts to in, become completely golden. That's the dark cord that everybody's was connected to. The dark one, like everybody's heart at a level. I mean, unless you were completely clear and you're you you don't have any temptation. Um, you're connected to that unless you, like it's basically just living masters who are not connected to that so now that's amazing that that's dissolving i've just been to the underworld to get blessed i, I was a bit worried major with the roosters but not good <laughs> yeah i don't blame just you in just just in case yeah <laughs> so many angels just so many angels you know what it reminds me of you know what? At the end of Star Wars, where they do music and you playing playing instruments, it's, it's a bit like that. Rolling the ending credits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's interesting too because I feel that um, I feel that like almost like a stiff board against my back like the support of all of our teams like they're like pressing up against my back and 
kind of making me like, like sit up straight, but it's all like solar plexus. So it's the back side of my solar plexus. And it's like, it's like all this force of energy is like behind me with their hands. Like, like how, when you see those pictures of like everybody standing with their hands on the person in front of them, like, I kind of feel like it's that kind of energy. I definitely feel so much peace. Like it's just the collective consciousness is just calmed right down. And this like enlightenment energy is around. It's quite amazing. There's so much light. Mm -hmm. The water, shooting the water. Feet. Are you guys like grounding like crazy right now? This light yes. is coming right through my feet here. Like this is so much. And it's like like clouds. It feels like fluffy, magical, golden clouds coming out of my feet. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> I was I was hearing I was hearing the water saying that the water is blessing the work. So the element water and fire was saying that it assisted by cleansing through fire what do they say like what i don't know what the saying is but it's kind of like ringing in my head about how still and f how fire like willed still or something i don't know what they're saying um and the wind is saying that it's blowing in the winds of change for the air element and the earth of course is saying that we are your solid ground we and the rock the rock people and the guardians of earth, Colossians, the Garthians, those are the ones that are coming into my telepathic um, mindset. Gosh, they're tickling me. <laughs> Sorry, that's fairy energy. <laughs> I just feel so much love and peace. Just sit in this energy forever. And that might become the reality. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Well, thanks everybody for your amazing work as always. I guess I uh, will thank the uh, audience who's tuning in on uh, Phil's YouTube. And if you haven't yet, like and subscribe and comment. <laughs> oh, and uh <laughs> If you want, I've got an evening event on Saturday, by the way. Yeah, you should post that in the comments. And then if people want to yeah, go through, yeah. just click on it. Can you send the link? Because I didn't record this one, did I? Yeah, I'll send this to you right away. I got like super high speed now, so it uploads in like a couple minutes. And then a couple minutes of processing. As I was sitting there one day and um, I was doing all these videos with unlimited source being and this. I'm sitting there for like eight hours, waiting, uploading and doing the uploading. And I'm like, what is going on? It's taking me days to do these videos. And Stefano's like, why is it taking you days to upload and edit videos? It should just take you a few hours. I'm like, and then he goes, check your internet speed. And then I found out I had, it was like on the slowest possible. And then as soon as I got the high speed the, and the new box and stuff, my, my downloads went from like three hours to two minutes. <laughs> So, oh wow that's huge <laughs> yeah. like oh my god this whole time i'm just laboring and frustrated spending like three hours waiting editing and then finally okay finally i'm like <laughs> what got him asking the question was because i had to upload a whole bunch of videos i'm like okay uh it'll, they'll be ready in 28 hours he's like 28 hours <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a lot yeah. well it's interesting phil that um you're doing your healing event and we're doing the, um, the, the world dragon day channeling. World <laughs> dragon day. <laughs> yeah. World dragon day. On there's Saturday. always got to be some else. They, you know, they, they like us to be in a variety of different places and get people's mm -hmm. attention. So as, you know, as people are coming to wake up and, uh, and they have their different needs and, uh, the awareness of, you know, the fact that, as we're talking about galactic energies and obviously the people who find your channel are, you know, they're looking 
They're looking for the angelic connection. They're looking for the healing connection, but it's so much more. <laughs> and, and it's, it's so fun to learn to play in the unlimitedness of, you know, of who we are as, as those sparks of the God light and, uh, and the, uh, aspects of each of our beings that, you know, we come in and, and play in our current roles. So it's very, it's very fun. It's exciting. I hope everybody, you know, is enjoying what they're doing. And, and even, even in the hard stuff, right. You can, you can find your joy in the hard stuff because once you get through that period of darkness, if that's where you're at, kind of like our buddy Lucifer, that, you know, the joy that you feel on the other side is tremendous. I, I just wanted to say something. It was a joy to meet you both in the last few years. It really was. It's amazing, oh. man, that we met each other. Yeah. I know. Like Zoom. Yeah. I know. Next next time, uh, we'll have to uh, figure out how to connect in with all of us at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> another oh, another trip oh, to the good. UK and Stonehenge there, uh, David? <laughs> 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 Maybe it's the pyramid. It was good. It was good. Yeah. Or we'll yeah. have a destination like Egyptian location. Oh my gosh, that you would know, be. Do, do you know what Sophie did? Dave was on his phone, I was on mine, and she was videoing us in the <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> That's that so funny. like her. She's amazing. <laughs> She's in India at the moment. So. Oh, she is. Yeah. Doing a retreat? Uh, I don't think it's a retreat. Mm. Um, I'm getting ready to go do an ayahuasca ceremony and some other plant medicines. So plant medicines have been calling my name. So I, that'll I've be had, I, I was plant medicines. I was on that. And the person who is like, a, he teaches Reiki and everything. He was healing someone and he was just like you know I was doing that with me right I copied in basically and when I started doing it light language came out <laughs> a weird one I don't even understand it and he was doing this and an actorian aspect I saw merge with it in my own eyes I'm thinking wow oh wow well <laughs> so that's why I was on plant medicine and behind me was was doming but he was in a human form not a dragon he was he had no face and he was there for about an hour or half an hour, some like that. two meters behind me, just guarding me. Guarding for yeah. sure. <laughs> Good thing. Good thing, yeah. He's like, oh, what is he doing? All right, I guess I'll come down and I, I bet I better be careful. He's on he's on some plant lotus plant and mushrooms and stuff like that. So. Yeah, yeah. Great night though. So... But at, at the end of it, I said to the bloke, I said, Can I stay over? Because I don't fancy going in my car. Yeah, so I, I stayed over. Yeah, it yeah, it's amazing that. Like. It's gonna be it's gonna be a couple of days, and um, right now there's four of us gals who will be going. So, and you I, know, I think when you yeah. when you're awake and you are having that as well, it's it's ten times more. You see so much, unbelievable. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's. So, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting and fun and I've already started my dieta so you know it's it's an, not too much of a change from what I normally eat but um you know there's a few more kind of like to get into your physical presence of of big you know being ready to accept and work with the medicine so the grandmother medicine is out there mm -hmm. and she's you know when you get the calling you get the calling. <laughs> Hey, I gotta show you guys something here. Let me see if I can find it. This is gonna get you a little excited, Wendy. Uh, see if I can get links up. The only thing with that plant medicine when I was on it, everyone else had addictions apart from one person who'd lived in Peru. She was great, and it got a bit dark at the end because they were releasing all their addiction energies. Oh, yeah. So me and this girl just stayed together. <laughs> she said. <laughs> It's gone dark in it. I said, it, 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 he's releasing it all. He's getting shipped in it all. Yeah. And so, wow. But I have got that sort of negative energy. I got to show, uh, I got to share a screen here for a second here. That's got to show. This is this, um, pretty cool. Making history here. One second. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Here, this is it. I think that's it. Um, so I go here and then here and then here. Check this out. So divine rays back. Everything is uh, working amazingly. And um, my Wi-Fi connection is not the greatest downstairs, but let's see. This is just a test profile. Uh, once it goes through here, um, there is now live. You see that? Go live. Oh, live. yeah. Look at that. Live. <laughs> <Is> that? <laughs> On Divine Ray. I used to have it. I used to have a shirt like that. His green screen. <laughs> Uh, invite somebody else to come on the live stream with you um, in about two or three weeks there's going to be um, you're going to be able to create groups just like Facebook and you can make them private um, or like if you want and accept like whatever you want right so it's like um, if you want to have your own groups and then also post these like posts like Instagram um, in three months, there's going to be a cryptocurrency reward system. So when people like someone's video, share it, or at how much time they're in the app, they'll get Divine Ray coins. And eventually, they're going to be able to sell them for real money. And the creators, when they're getting liked and their videos are getting shared, and when they're creating as well, they're getting Divine Ray coins, cryptocurrency reward system, just for being in it and creating so this vision oh. that has been a, a work in progress is finally coming to its its light and time. So it's pretty exciting. That's yep. amazing. Uh oh, now I bet, now I have to go back into my account and start uh, updating and putting some new content. <laughs> That's what I did. I deleted my old account. <laughs> I'm starting to go over again because now I got to do all this unlimited source bean stuff. So I was like. In my old one, I'm talking to dry cans, doing all these light languages, and just I'm not sick. I'm like, I gotta. Okay, I'm just gonna yeah. this and start over. <laughs> well, the the dragons are here in force, still helping out. So they um they just seem to be. It's almost like I would liken it to, especially being fall. I would liken it to fallen leaves. Like first, it's one that drops. And then it's two and three. And next thing you know, it's like. <laughs> yep. So Phil's got an event. And your uh, your ceremony, is, is it, can people go to it? Saturday. Yeah, people can, people can um, come join. And we're charging a $10 love gift. So because we'll be, you know, doing channeling for people. And then if people can't attend and they want to get the um, the channel afterwards, then we'll just post, you know, how to send an email. And um, and then they can, you know, request the, request the replay of it so that they can have it. But it's 4 o'clock Central Time, I believe six o'clock Eastern time and two o'clock Pacific time. So, and there's an event created out there. So if they look for channeled illuminations and the, you know. So yours is on Saturday too? Yep, Saturday. Oh, and what time does your start at? Did you say 10? Four. Or four? So four, that is like uh, Eastern? Or so four o'clock so central so i'm central. Um, central time yeah so it'll be six o'clock sorry five o'clock eastern so it'll be an hour difference plus after and of course, I'm making on my phone and i'm currently using my phone so i can't just like slide and go <laughs> so phil yours is like at what time what time is yours at uh, i'm just checking <laughs> but i'll send you i'll send it's, you guys uh, a link in well, messenger well, well 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Yeah, so that's 12, Joel, so that's four hours before Wendy's. Cool. And seems how Phil's last four hours, they should just go right. Right? It'll probably just go straight through. <laughs> <laughs>
but um yeah, but it's interesting because then that morning i'm hosting for hookalo and um and then that'll be you know it'll be two hours so 10 to noon and then after that it'll be you know we'll get some time in between grab something to eat i guess and <laughs> and then off to work with the dragons awesome well i guess let's uh Say goodbye to our friendly uh, listeners. So uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. It was great to see you. Um, check the comments for these event details and um, also Divine Ray apps in the App Store, Google, and Android. You can download it for free and soon start earning coins for free just for sharing the light, which is amazing. Um, and especially because it's like a high vibrational alternative meet to media that we are getting tired of the low vibrations of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. And a, a point is, if anyone's watching this, join us on that event that we just had because you'd be there. It, it's happening all the time at the same time. The time is not real, it, it real really. But, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we can share this one out. It's just it was really smooth, filled with a ton of love. I mean, I've been I feel amazing. The energy just shifted all around within. Mm -hmm. We are anchoring such a beautiful light afterwards. It's, this is just incredible. I'm blown away. The results of this just amazing. See, when when Source had merged with me, I was hot, and when he left me, oh, I'm cold again. I was thinking, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put me eating on though, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, that healing heat is uh it's really cool when that happens. Um, but since mm -hmm. we've since we've been doing that, I've been getting like a lot of download activations in my crown. So that's interesting. And then of course the angel chakra is just really intense still. And um and then the do you do you have a whirling in your head a lot when you're doing events like this? A that will like, you can hear, like a frequency like a word. Yeah. Um, I don't hear it, but every now and then, like if I'm kind of sitting quiet and not, and there's like nothing else going on, all of a sudden I'll get those kind of like the, like the, like, it'll sound like that. And it's always in my right ear. So, so whatever they're doing, <laughs> let's go with the flow and say, thanks team. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, the nice thing is, is since, uh, since, you know, the Scotland, Ireland trip where I was having all these like really jerky kind of body movements that is tampered down. So now it's just, you know, just a little bit happening in my left leg. It's not all the time, but then sometimes it'll switch from my left leg to my hips. And, um, and I, I know it has to do with like anchoring in like all these codes. So it's, yeah, it's. It's interesting because, you know, it's such a physical experience. <laughs> well, it's definitely but, one heck of an experience. Yeah. But let, let the buzzing continue. You know, that's... Um, a total transformation. Like, this is, like, this is a bigger deal than, than we give ourselves credit for, like... I actually asked, and I'm like, how come nobody's done this before? Like, why are we supposed to do this mission? And they just said, nobody, nobody became aware of him there. Nobody came aware. That's where he was. You had to break out of the matrix. You had to break out of the dimensions to see him. It's the only way you would have seen him. And so like, it, it's basically, you've proven that humanity is ready for this. And I was just like. But when you broke out the matrix, did you lose time? Because when I did it, I lost six hours. I don't even know, to be honest with you, because everything just mm -hmm. like kind of, I guess. I can't I mean I can't remember, to be honest with you. It just I went into total trans state and mm -hmm. I don't know where, how long, I'm not even sure what happened. Like I, I remember yeah. but, oh, and then I went into this whole other um origins light. Like I just I started seeing all the these planets and just I was every the celestials went right at way past earth and you know and in this like um origin source um basically i ripped through all the dimensions of of this universal structure and then shot out the dome so i went through the dome and and then bam 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 bam, bam and then i saw him just sitting there and i'm like what as I, i'm flying up right i'm like a skyrocket <laughs> flying up 
And then I see him, I'm like, what the heck? But I keep going, right? <laughs> and then I'm like, what is he doing? And then he's tuning into like that, that uh, whatever you want to call it, the devil. And then, so, and then I realize he's just projecting it all in his own mind. He's creating, he's in this dream state, creating all this um, density in an in, in art, yeah, yeah. right? So he's dreaming well, it I- up somehow, right? Like. Oh I just God. got hit with that heat energy and it's like literally like my whole body. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> I had to open my window. I'm like, Oh my God, it's so hot right now. <laughs> yeah. I think um, we are in for it guys. I think this is going to really trigger the biggest changes on the planet. Like this is like, that's what I mean. Like one of the last things to do basically is bring him back into the light heal his heart it it couldn't be done this is what they said to me it cannot be done from the angelic level it had to be human it had to be done because he chose to come and create all of this and it had to be done at the earth level to bring him back because then it shows that humanity was ready for the shift by it being done by the your us basically and everybody who's watching and so pretty amazed to, to actually break out the matrix it's normally three uh three uh portals you gotta go through but to actually go straight through it's quite difficult it's amazing you've done that i've done it once and i don't know how i did it huh. but to actually break <laughs> honestly i was i was in the earth with all of these like diamond light angels and then I did some kind of weird activation with them or something. I can't remember what it was. And all of a sudden, boom, I go flying up. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, I just like flew out of inner earth and then poof, I shoot out of the, the, the matrix. And then I see Lucifer sitting, tuning into something. And I'm like, what's that? And I keep flying. And then and like, I know I ripped through the dimensions. And then all of a sudden, I'm, I'm in this like origin source light, like way, like, a, I don't know how many universes over. I don't even know. It was just different. It was a totally the galaxy uh, far, far away. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 then I started bringing that light in. So I started making my my pillar of light into that because I just I have this now because I I went through that hole or whatever that portal it was. Yeah. Um, so it's like just I just know where it is now, right? So I just I draw in the source light from there now, and just like that's kind of cool. How I did it, David, I was listening to a YouTube video and I was going through it and it said, connect with your crisscross, which is your tailbone. The next minute I was talking to alien beings saying, and they were saying, have you, have you broken the matrix? Have you got out? I don't know. But they, they were talking to me. Yeah, it was oh, weird. But then I, I managed to get back. And I lost my Sunday. My Sunday just went. That's so funny. <laughs> Six hours lost. Isn't that something? Wow. But it's, when, when I came back, I was in the video on um, what I was listening to the YouTube. I'd actually gone into that, but I couldn't talk to them. Everyone was glowing white light, but they couldn't listen to me because I was like in 4D. And, oh, uh, uh, it was a crazy, that was a crazy one. And then someone said something, and I thought they were talking to me, and I went like that. <laughs> and then I could see my pillar <laughs> back in the room. So I was talking to someone, moved there, and pillar. I'm back. I'm going for that. You know, if I get back. <laughs> so, but while the crisscross is in your tailbone, it's supposed to be a portal. It's like you're in a child part, the eight year old child. So, Ray well, with the yeah. elemental. Uh, the, the Kundalini comes out, you mean? Yeah, at the bottom of your, your, where your tailbone is. Yeah. It's probably That's where I feel the yeah. 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 That would make sense. Yeah. Yeah, and the so, pelvic. Uh, call it the pelvic floor you know kind of your sits bone you know from there like all the way up your back and usually when i feel kundalini energy it's like moving like like two snakes like this and you can feel it kind of going up and going down like right up and down your spine all the way up to the base of your neck you know just really like right where your spine is and um yeah sometimes sometimes just part of it will be moving like just depending on like what the work is that you're doing but um, being able to connect into that, you know, that Kundalini fire. And, you know, it's, it's interesting how it activates like the passion within you and, uh, and, and even using it to, 
to kind of like like how when you pulled in Saint Germain to like bring in that violet flame, like a lot of times like it'll be like like stronger with one color versus the other. 